Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and I am beyond excited to bring you episode 1 of Battletech. I've been waiting for this game since I learned about it last year. Uh, Hairbrain Schemes, they've done the Shadowrun games and a few other stuff, um, but they got their hands on the Battletech license. Uh, they worked with the developers of the original board game from the 80s, uh, and they created a turn-based management style game similar to XCOM, you'll see, uh, that is deep and complex and satisfying. Uh, I actually did a video about a year ago showing off the combat, uh, because that's all I had access to, and I actually got access to the full game a little early thanks to Paradox and thanks to good old games. Um, I'll link in the description to pre-order the game below if you want to check it out. Uh, with that in mind, this is a beta. There might still be a couple of bugs here, but as far as I know, outside of some minor stuff, this is the full game and I just want to jump in and play it. I grew up with Mech Warrior and Mech Commander, which was the RTS kind of version of Mech Warrior. Um, and to play Battletech, which is where Mech Warrior comes from, mind you, uh, a turn-based to its roots uh, I don't want to say rebuilding or relaunching, but uh, the, to its board game roots reimagining, video game reimagining of what the game is like, I just want to play. So, I haven't dove in at all, I want to be fresh, I want to learn with you guys, uh, I'll make mistakes, but that's the point. I want to learn and I want to become an incredible Battletech commander. So if you guys like this, you want to see more of it, subscribe and like. Those are the two biggest ways to do it, and if you already are subscribed, hitting that bell so no one new videos go live, because that's how YouTube works now is a good thing to do. So, without further ado, let's do a new campaign. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times. About the Star League. A golden age of prosperity. Upheld by the great mech warriors of old. Guardians of the innocent. Protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day, hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it That's up to you. And that is the uh, wonderful opening of the game. See, the cool thing about this universe, and something that I never really truly got into, and though I, I wish I would, and I probably still can, is that the world of Battletech and Mech Warrior is that of... I guess you would call it like Game of Thrones. It's all about royal families vying for control over the galaxy and you are the person we're playing as a mercenary. person, A person who has their own little crew of people that flew, flies between the stars and goes where the money leads them, whatever that may entail. And we're going to see what that means for us uh, here in a bit. So, welcome to the Oregon Reach. The Oregon Reach is a small kingdom in the Rim Ward periphery, uh, a region of space that lies at the outskirts of the more densely colonized inner sphere. Uh, so, kind of like the Outer Rim, more or less. It is home to the Oregon Coalition, a federation organized around a parliamentary monarch and ruled by the Arano family, the person we just talked about. Can we click on that? No. For three generations, under the rule of House Arano, the Oregon Coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. It is here your story begins. All right. Ooh, what is this? Decades ago, your family came to the reach from. Ooh. <laughs> Cool, so we get to choose like our character and his background and where he comes from, uh, why it matters. So let's take a look at these. I'm gonna take my time. If you have no interest in this kind of stuff, 
Uh, you can fast forward the video, whatever you need to do. But this is this is like lore building, man. Who are we? Um, decades ago, your family came to the Reach from the Traconis Combine, Karita. Mech warriors who hail from the Combine tend to be fierce, disciplined, and relentless fighters, no matter the odds they might face on the battlefield. Although the Draconis Combine is as ethically diverse as any of the vast interstellar empires, it is also one of the most culturally homogenous. Over centuries of rule, the founding house Karita has succeeded in uniting the people of the Combine into a singular culture, one heavily molded around the medieval Japanese society. While some, most notably the descendants of the conquered Principality of Rasal Hague, continue to chafe at the uniformity of Draconis society, overall this has created a more cohesive populace and military than seen in the great houses of the Inner Sphere. Alright, then we got the Free Worlds League, Marek. Mech warriors who hail from the Free Worlds League tend to be passionate, enduring fighters who value justice and equality above all else. The oldest and theori theoretically most democratic of the great successor states of the Inner Sphere, the Free Worlds League is actually a broad coalition of many minor noble houses. For most of the League's history, it has been ruled under martial law by the Captain General, who by tradition is from House Marek. The cultural diversity and relative independence of its co uh, component regions are at once the greatest strength of the Free Worlds League and its greatest weaknesses. Um, that's cool. I like it a lot. Um, the old symbol theater, I just want to read one, one thing. For the, for most of the League's history has been ruled under the martial law, but now, now it's like a democratic thing. Okay, cool. Federated Sons, Davion. Mech warriors who hail from the Federated Sons tend to be to possess more finely honed skills and better equipment than their counterparts from the regions of from other regions of space. They often see themselves as righteous warriors and champions of liberty, sometimes to a fault. Though nearly extinguished by the Draconis Combine in the First Succession War, uh, which is these guys up here, uh, the Federated Sons, a constitutional monarchy ruled by the renowned House Davion has become arguably the most powerful of the Great Five successor states. Through skillful military campaigns and subtle diplomacy, House Davion has significantly increased the number of star systems under its control in the last two centuries. Mech warriors who hail from the Lyran Commonwealth tend to be hardy, well-equipped, and well-trained, though they also have earned a reputation for not being particularly strategic thinkers in the battlefield. I do wonder what this, if this actually will cause any bonuses for us or or not or penalties more or less wealth is the greatest strength of the merchant princes of the lyran commonwealth ruled by house steiner despite a number of humiliating defeats in the first two succession wars the lyran commonwealth has bounced back thanks to the combined strength of its economy the biggest of the five great successor states and its control of the inner spheres the inner spheres largest functioning battle mech factories what the lyran commonwealth may lack in military prowess it makes up for with raw numbers and industrial scale so they're the people though so they, they may not be the smartest but they have the money and the numbers to just throw things at people until they fall over got it Mech warriors who hail from Capellian Confederation are dedicated and steadfast combatants, capable of holding the line and often surprising those opponents who might make the mistake of underestimating them. The Capellian Confederation has suffered the most at the hands of the success of other successor states over the last two centuries of war, having lost nearly half of the territory at once controlled at the height of the Star League's rule. Uh, over time, the leadership of House Li Liao has transformed the Capellan Confederation into a socialist police state with a highly regulated economy. Most Capellans take great pride in their citizenship, which must be earned through service to the state. So that these must be like the five main houses? Like what these like little parentheses say, Liao? What are the rest? Mech warriors hail from the Magist... Uh, magist... Magist... Magistracy? Magist... Magistracy? Magistracy of Canopus can run the gamut of skill and fighting styles, but they often favor clever and or unorthodox tactics on the field. While smaller than the small than the great successor states in the inner sphere, the Magistry of Canopus is one of the major powers of the Rimworld periphery. The Magistry is a, a matriarchal society led by ma uh, Maidstrix. This is an elected uh, position open to any woman, but largely controlled by House Cantrella due to the family's popularity. The Magistry supports an open society that ensures the personal liberty of all citizens and their right to live their lives as they see fit. Then we got the Mech Warriors who hail from Torian Concordat tend to be stubborn and aggressive. They can be quick to anger, but they are nonetheless skilled and perceptive combatants. Founded as a constitutional monarchy under the leadership of House Calderon, the Torian Concordat 
Concordat is the strongest military power of the Rimworld periphery. It is also one of the oldest surviving realms of human civilization, having been formed long before the creation of the Star League. Torian citizens enjoy extensive freedoms guaranteed by the Concordat Charter and take pride in defending those freedoms through compulsory service. The Torian Concordat has long had an uh, antagonistic relationship with the Inner Sphere, particularly with the Federated Sun. So these are all Inner Sphere people? My guess is that's how it goes. Um, then there's the Rimworld Periphery. The Rimward Periphery, rather. There is no easy way to characterize mech warriors hailing from Rimward Periphery. They can be anything from petty thugs to ruthless tacticians to skilled and honorable warriors. The nations and minor noble houses of the Rimward Periphery have long played a role in shaping humanity. The Star League's downfall began in the Periphery, eventually leading to the current tattered state of these dis uh, disparate star systems on the edge of known space. The Periphery is still the galaxy's frontier, where the great houses of the Inner Sphere play deadly politics. Petty bandit kingdoms thrive, and pirate bands prey on the minor noble houses trying to survive in this hostile environment. Ooh, I kind of like coming from there, actually. That sticks. And then the deep periphery. Mech warriors that hail from the deep periphery are rare, but even rarer is the mech warrior who will admit to such an origin. Beyond the outermost edges of the periphery lie depths of space that remain uncharted and unknown to most of human civilization. Little is known about these regions, but they are far from uninhabited. The deep periphery is littered with abandoned colonies and small outposts isolated from the rest of humanity. After the fall of the Star League, General Alexander Kerensky led the remnants of the Star League Defense Force into the deep periphery, disappearing from the inner sphere and from recorded history. Oh, damn. So he just disappeared. Um, why not? I like the Rimward Periphery. We're not from unknown space, but we are, we come from areas where piracy and thug life is uh, a little bit more common. We can be a little more rough around the edges. You are of noble birth. Wait, what? Is that what I picked? Hang on. You are of noble birth. Though immigrants to the Oregon Reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of the Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family had become the de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family titles and ancestral battle mech, an old Blackjack BJ-1. So we get our own little, little thing. This is where you met Raiju Mastiff Montgomery, a veteran of the Succession Wars, where your parents hired on, uh, whom your parents hired on for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Raju was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly became the skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life. I'm curious, if I pick, like, say that, is it the same thing? Yeah, it's all the same. Your history doesn't change. Which is weird. I, I, it's weird that they would even tell that, but okay. Ooh, until the day after your 16th birthday, when you were exiled. Uh, let's see. Plus one gunnery, plus one tactics. So these determine my bonuses. Once the promising young scion of your family, you committed an unforgivable unfor transgression and were sentenced to life in exile. You stole away with the family's ancestral blackjack and set off to find a new life to call your own. Plus one gunnery, plus one tactics. Does, I don't know what that means, honestly, and that's unfortunate. Um, there was no tutorial, so... Uh, you struck out on your own. As the heir to a noble family, you grew up wanting of for nothing. And as it turns out, you couldn't stand life as a pampered nobility. Finally, one night you stole away with your family's ancestral blackjack. Uh, and set off to find new life to call your own. Tactics and piloting. Okay. Guts and tactics. As you grew older, uh, you watched your family, fail fortune, income, and influence slowly dwindle away until there was nothing left. Your parents, driven to despair, took their own lives. With nothing to but your family's ancestral blackjack left to call your own, you set off to make a new life for yourself. Uh, your family died in an accident. The rest of your family died in a freak jump ship accident after which you discovered that they had nothing left behind but piles of debt. After selling everything to settle the debt, you set off on your own with your own, only your family's ancestral blackjack to your name. Piloting and guts, tactics and guts. I don't know what these mean, unfortunately, and I can't click on them. And your family was betrayed. Uh, your family was betrayed and its seat of power destroyed. You defeated the betrayers, but were the sole surviving member of your house. With nothing but your family's ancestral blackjack left to call your own, you set off to make your own life. I like the idea of my family going bankrupt, my family, my parents taking their lives, and I had nothing left. My noble family just wasted everything they were given. It gives my character a reason to strive for more, to push forward for more, to, uh, to want what my parents had, but never fuck it and lose it. So, we'll go with that. Your family went bankrupt. Out on your own, you fell into a life of... 
Oh, we get a little bit of other stuff. So we got tactics and guts. Now we want maybe gunnery, maybe more guts, maybe plus one the tactics. Um, let's see, what do we do? Oregon Coalition Soldier. Unsure of your prospects, you traveled to Koromodir, the capital of the Oregon Coalition, and enlisted in the Coalition military. Eh, I don't like being a soldier. I feel like my character wouldn't necessarily be a soldier. Frontier Pirate. Tired of living under the authority of others, you fell in with a local pirate gang in the Rimworld Periphery. Uh, it was an unruly crew, but an effective one. Roaming the periphery afforded uh, your outfit with a steady supply of poorly defended merchant caravans and supply depots to prey upon. While raids did occasionally devolve into combat, you quickly learned that successful piracy is mostly about being in the right place, at the right time, with the right threats, and a good show of force. Interesting. Uh, uh, you took to your skills as a mech warrior to the famed arena planet of Solaris 7. There you eked out a living as a gladiator fighting for the crowd in minor arenas, getting by paycheck to paycheck. Eh, that's boring. Inner Sphere Mercenary? Eh. Eager to get away from it all, you joined up with the minor Inner Sphere Mercenary unit. Integrating into the tight-knit crew took time, but you eventually proved your worth and became part of the family. So I, I was just a mercenary of the Inner Sphere. Interesting. But not that interesting. Um, freelancer. You roamed the Rimward periphery as a freelancer, signing on for whatever odd contracts you could find as a mech warrior for hire. It was a solitary life, but as you became more comfortable with the itinerant lifestyle, you found you were able to make a decent living helping the people of the frontier. I like that a little bit better. And then you signed out as a guard for a small trading guild, and uh, providing security to the guild's caravan made trading runs between the Inner Sphere and the periphery. Uh, it was a largely uneventful life, but you were able to put your mech warrior skills to good use in the con- Ah, uh, let's go with I was a frontier freelancer. I like that. Um, let's see. Until years later, when you crossed paths with Raju Mastiff Montgomery once again. While running a routine patrol for a local government on the outskirts of the Oregon Reach, you were set upon by pirates and left for dead. Raju happened to be visiting the capital city and picked up your distress call. Upon rescuing you, he offered you a job in the house around a royal guard. So it is that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor and preparing for your ancestral blackjack uh, for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Camilla Arano. Ah, okay. We can take a look at ourselves. Mech Warrior call sign. Let's see. Flounder, Little, Deuce, Shooter. Well, my name is Mike Martin. My call sign will be Mathis, because that just makes the most sense. I am a... I'm a... I am a he. Um, I like the bearded stuff. I think the most. Can I customize it a little bit more? Or no. Yeah, we can customize. Um, I guess we should pick one and just kind of customize it a bit. So let's go with this bearded man. Yeah, we can just, there's a lot of customization options. Goodness. Okay. Well, I am brown haired. Uh, hair tips are brown, I guess. I don't, I don't know, man. Eyes, green. Skin, as pale as possible. Uh, lips, luscious. Is that an option? Luscious? Sure. Details. I don't know what that is. Can I just change my... I don't really need makeup. Is that like a scar? Oh, it's a tattoo. I don't really need a tattoo on my face, honestly. Let's get like a proper beard. And a proper hairstyle. I can't really turn my character, so let's see. One that just looks... <laughs> That's actually like me right now. I'll have a haircut before this series progresses too far, but... We'll go with it. Lighting. Camera. Oh, we can change the camera a little bit. I mean, sure? I look very confused. I don't really need a scar, but apparently I have to have one. Um, sure. There we go. Yeah, sure. Uh, how about clothing? I'm a freelancer, so it's not like I'm like, I don't need to look fancy or anything. I kind of like these big, bulky jackets, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. There we go. Mathis. Call sign Mathis. Next. Decades ago, your family came to the Oregon Reach from the Rimward Periphery. The day after your 16th birthday, your family went bankrupt and your parents took their own lives. Out on your own, you fell into the life of a frontier freelancer. Gunnery 2, Piloting 2, Tactics 4, Guts 3. So, again, this you got to keep in mind, this is based on a... On a uh, a board game like it's a minis game so I imagine this is all important a minis game that also has some like D&D &D aspects to it as far as I know 
All right, let's do it. There I am. Confirm. The High Lord Tamiti Arano is dead. The organ reaches left at an uncertain crossroads. Uh, the once prosperous, it is now a kingdom of decline, surrounded by powerful neighbors. Lord Santiago Espinosa, brother-in-law to the late High Lord, is convinced the slow-moving council of founding houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive would cons conscript their house guard and centralize power in a single throne. However, the High Lord's heir, the noble Lady Kame Arano, is determined to rebuild the Reach without transforming it into an author authoritarian state. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and has rebuked his vehement pleas to reconsider. Is he gonna try and like murder her on her coronation day? On the morning of Lady Arano's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, uh, our old mentor, makes preparations to escort her safely to the coronation procession that awaits in Cordia City. Oh, hell yes. Coronation Day, Arano, Summer Pla Palace, 8.53, local time. All right, fam, I'm in. This is in my, this is so my wheelhouse. Prepping for combat. All right, looks like we're gonna have to get into a little bit of combat. All right, here we go. Command interface initiated. There I am in my wonderful family blackjack. Move, uh, WASD, and I can rotate, sweet. Yeah, just like typical tactics kind of camera controls. Cool. Hey, look it. All right, Mathis. I had the Espinosa Refugiards rush the repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should run some diagnostics on it just to be sure. Standard field tests, you know the drill. More importantly, though, I want to tell you more about the job I brought you out here to do. Now do me a favor and get that metal battle mech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. All right, so there's our turn. Move your mech to the marked location. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. Really? There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. Great. Good, so we just gotta move. Move your mouse to the indicated po point. Click once to select where you wish to move. Click again to choose which direction to face. So yeah, all about maneuvering and how our, how our mech is facing. It's all gonna be very important. So we'll click here, and then we wanna we can choose which way our, our mech will face. You can only rotate a certain amount depending on the mech it is, uh, but we'll go ahead and click that. There we go. I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tamiti's funeral, and I'm worried about Lady Kamiya's safety during her coronation procession. Anyway, looks like your actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnt out old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But yeah, my it's like R2D2. Gut tells me something's no, off, don't. and a warrior trusts their instincts. And then we got one over here. All burnt out, not piloted by anything. Test out your weapons. All right. Select a target with your mouse or press tab to cycle between them. Click fire when ready. So I can fire at him. I, I think I can target, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So we'll just go ahead and fire at this guy, I guess. I don't see anything about, like, accuracy. Guarded. 50 so he's guarded. 50% damage reduction against range attacks to the front and side. Does not stack with cover. Countered by any melee attack. Cool. Entrenched. 50% stability damage reduction on all attacks as he's been sitting there for a while. Alright, we'll fire. All weapons committed. Yep, he's done. Easy peasy. Enemy That'll do it. Destroyed. Good shot. Your guns are in working order at last. Or at least. We should run a calibration check on your tactical computer. You see that drone over there? The one moving through the tree line? Target it for me and open fire. So we got a drone moving in. I've been training Lady Arano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll be just as just an effect, as effective as a ruler. It's on us to see her safely to Cordia City. 
I'll rest easier once she's in the capital with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria, well, she's only been training under me for a, sing for a single season, but she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, truth be told. Anyway, finish that drone off with a rear angle shot and we'll keep moving. Kamiya's like a daughter to me, and her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. Fire the target in the forest. All right, there he is. Uh, he's got forest. So forest reduces movement and spotting distance and provides cover, so you lose a little bit of accuracy for a little protection. Uh, cover, 25% damage reduction against range attacks to the front and side. Training target, and then weak against melee. So we're just gonna fire this guy. All weapons did we not kill him? <laughs> he did not go down. Victoria pulls no punches. But she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. At least aside from me. So can I click at that? Can I pick where I want to fight? So if I hold on this, it's his left side. I think it's just maybe where I blasted him, but now I'm about to hit him in the rear. Yeah. Goodbye. Beautiful. Enemy unit destroyed. Yeah, I do what I can, you know, kill those moving targets. Nice shot. Now, I don't know how you're familiar how familiar you are with Oregon politics, but the reach was badly shaken by High Lord Tamidi's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power, and Kamiya belongs on the core Morant throne. Go ahead and fire up your jump jets, kid. I want to see you descend this cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground there near the edge of the lake. Jump to the marked location. All right. So do I just click on it? Click on you. I guess it's automatically jumping, so there's the ability right here to jump. We'll face both of them. Off we go. Wee! Up evasive down structural damage yeah, heat critical. Oh shit. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Sweet. I like how you can actually move into the water to to cool off. So this is right here. It must be all of our heat. Overheating. This unit takes structure damage each turn while overheating. I don't know. What, I can't do anything with that. And that's just got to be our heat. All right. Yeah. Let's just move into the water. Warning, plasma leak detected, jump jet malfunction, jump jet systems damaged, system inoperable until repaired. So we lost our jump jets. Oh, for the love of the gods. This is what I get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much of a choice. The Espinosa Riffit Yards were backlogged like you wouldn't believe. It looked like they were trying to process every single Royal Guard mech in, the t in time for the coronation. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're going to have to make do without them. Go ahead and take that mech down with a melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is going to break down on your blackjack before we take it to the Cormorant Cormor Road. Click melee. Okay. Click the melee targeting reticule on the enemy, or press V to cycle through melee targets, then hit attack. So we can hit V, I guess. Well, hit him. And then we hit V. I guess you just hit attack. Well, and before we do that, actually, I'm curious. I don't see the... What says hit the melee? I don't see the melee anywhere, but we'll just hit V. How are we going to melee? Kick him? We don't have any arms. Yep, yep. We just gave him a good old boot. Good hit. At least that's solid. All right, one last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to a sprint and evade my attack. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that your mech can maneuver. Um, the farther you move, the more evasive charges you will gain. Each evasive charge makes you harder to hit. Okay. So I want to sprint to here. And then I guess we'll face him. Full so we're running. I'm assuming that would be a build up heat. Did we get like three? Evasive charge? Minus one evasion. So these equal how many evasion charges we have built up. Congratulations, Mathis. Your blackjack's as combat ready as it can be, given the circumstances. For what it's worth, I hope that my suspicion turns out to be unfounded. And we end up having a good day, uh, having a... Let me try that again. <laughs> 
And we end up the we end the day having a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know that you'll be ready. All right, it's time to move out. Lady Arano's waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Okay. Return to Mastiff. Well, I mean, I can I can sprint there. It doesn't really matter. Does sprinting plus two difficulty to hit this unit with range attacks per evasive charge? Cannot sprint if unsteady or if a leg has been destroyed. So we can just sprint. We have no reason not to. Matt, this allowed me to introduce Camille Arano, the soon to, hi soon to be high lady of Oregon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? For the time being, my father has summoned me to the Picton docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family referent yards to preside over before the coronation. Behold the responsibilities of a noble daughter, a font of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father and don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customized monstrosity, you pilot. <laughs> Bold words, cousin. The only victory they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be sending to the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for the family heirloom that you call a battle mech. And in the arena, I reign supreme. <laughs> we'll see, cousin. We'll see. At any rate, I will see you at the tourney grounds. Sir Raju, I'm ready to go when you are. Overland along the Cormorant Road, as is the Arano tradition. Aye, Kamea. We'll get you there in one piece. Mathis, fall in behind me. And remember what I told you. Oh, I mean, I'll do my best. Mission successful. Wow, what a hard mission. So difficult. All right. Well, we got the the basics down. Though there's going to be a lot of depth I'm going to have to learn and kind of understand over time. I remember the Oregon Reach of old. The time of the great expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly, we went forth bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the council deliberates while our economy falters, and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say, it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Arano will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, Know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate! Oh no. Was she betrayed by her uncle, who obviously was evil? I mean, not evil. I mean, evil. I mean, not evil. Coronation Day. Cordo Cordius System Outskirts. All right. Well, what point is there in teaching me how to fight in a mech if you're not going to put me into combat right out the gate? So, let's do this. All right. Here we go. Command interface initiated. I'm going to miss this, Raju. The clarity of purpose that I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech. The simplicity of it. But there they are, just up ahead. The city gates, and my future, all laid out before me. Wait, what's that smoke? Yeah, I wonder. A guard post. One of the small ones that dot the roads leading to the capital. But the emergency band's been quiet all morning. I haven't heard anything about any fire. This is damned odd. And I don't like it. Kid. Keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. Okay. Outside of combat, your entire lance moves in any order. You can even have multiple units moving at the same time. So can I do like, how do you have them move at the same time? 
Because I can't... No, no, no. Uh, I guess we're just going to run up. Uh, I can't... Oh, he... Uh, Kamea can't sprint that far up, so we'll just move her here. Some sort of explosion. Looks recent, too. Do you think it was an accident? No chance. You see those scorch marks on the rubble? That's laser fire. We need to get you out of here, Kamea, right now. Yes, I think you're right. There's a patrol of Royal Guard mechs up ahead. We should go to them. Whatever's happening here, I won't let it derail your coronation. Your people need you. Thank you, Roshu. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. Of that, so I have no doubt. My, my question, I guess, is that is there a downside to sprinting? Why would I not sprint every move? Entire entire turn to move farther. Okay, well there you go. It's your entire turn. It's gonna Good move. Burn. Copy that. Let's get everybody up. Oh, I love this this just the minor amount of screen shake that adds a lot of weight to my mech. I love it. We just gotta get up there. Aye, aye. I'm on the move. Do the roads get all smashed up as I run along them? I wonder. Um, no. It looks like they leave footprints, but it looks like they kind of they kind of leave that same footprint along everything. Here, let's get everybody up here before we Roger worry that. about. I'm on it. Moving into the the goal. I don't want to pop into the goal and then have a bunch of people go into combat while they're far back. Us, that might be a good idea, but who knows? Hail Mastiff! Hail Lady Arano! We were preparing for Lady Arano's coronation parade when we got word of a disturbance along the Cormoran Road. A guard post behind us is attacked. Sir Raj, you found evidence of laser fire. Is the road behind you clear? Aye, all the way to the southern gate. Lead the way, Sir Raju. We'll fall in behind you and guard your six. Tell me something, guardsman. If the road is clear, why is your battle mech damaged? Our mechs are overdue for maintenance, but that isn't important right now. We need to worry about Lady Arano's safety. Now, my lady, if you'll come with us. No. No, you're lying to us. It's my coronation day. No mech tech would have sent you out for parade duty in that condition. I am your sovereign, sir. You will tell me what happened here. Damn it, girl, we don't have time for this. Take them! Kill the old man and the mech warrior, but take Lady Arano alive. Fall there it is. Had a man. feeling. Get behind us. All right, we'll read you this in a... Train me to cower, Raju. You train me to fight. Woo! Disengaged. We just got murderated. Once combat has begun, different mechs move in different phases. Lighter units generally move earlier than heavier ones. To reserve all units' actions to a later phase, use the reserve button or press the end key. How can I help? Well, why don't we just freaking melee this guy? He's just dead in front of us. Let's take a look at his uh, stuff real quick. I've got your back. He's only got this. Let's see. This unit has been kept in such poor condition that it barely holds together. It only carries 25% of normal armor. Melee attack using piloting skill to hit. Ignores evasive. Hit removes guarded. Deals damage and stability damage. Where's our turn order? Four? So I guess it's just him. Talk to me. Right, let's give him a punch. To hell with the weapon. We exposed him, we're guarding and entrenched now. Who is he going down? Oh, he fell over. Minus one initiative, knocked down, pilot injured as well. All right, so we injured the pilot and knocked down the mech. That's a good thing. Shadow Hawk, he's running up. He's gonna drop a punch on us probably, yeah. Oh, no, he's unloading on our backside massively. My armor's in bad shape. Yeah, no crap. Uh, so we both move on three here. You have my attention. So let's move Kamea here. Nope. See how she's facing the wrong way? 
I would like her to get behind, but I don't think that's going to be possible. So what if we just click on him and have her unload everything? Melee. Oh, it's melee again. Uh, maybe down here. Multi-target. Let's see. So we can brace and attack. Select Fire selected weapons at any target within mech's current firing arc. So we click on this. Click on this. And then do we, we click which weapons we want to use. So why don't we turn off the LRM on this fight, on the shot, and use everything at 70 and percent and up. Minus one evasion. We destroyed a bunch of his stuff. Alright, that was really good. Uh, we'll move here. We'll just move up a little bit. We'll just attack him. We'll turn that off, that off. Everything's 70% and higher. So it should just be all lasers. Yeah, we just hit him with four lasers. AC5 destroyed. Enemy mech. Critical damage. So he's got to be all messed up. Okay. Select a unit. You've got my attention. Why don't we... Why don't we punch this guy? Let's turn around and give him a walloping. Uh. There we go. We took off his right arm completely. And now he's unsteady. Alright, interesting. We'll have to see what those do for us. Oh, we just got the achievement of removing both arms. So, does getting up take his whole turn? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Standing by. So let's take a look at what he's got. So he's so AC5 must have been a weapon. He's just down to his SRM2s and LRM5s. And he's unsteady. But I don't see where unsteady comes in. We're overheating. So instead, why don't we move in and just do a melee hit? Because we are kind of hurt. Hmm. I can't actually get any closer, oddly. I wonder if I can move Mathis instead. Yeah, we can melee him. Let's go in for a melee punch, or melee kick on him then. Engaging attack. Side torso destroyed, pilot injured, and we knocked him down because he was unsteady. So he fell over. We knocked, injured the pilot twice. There's so much shit happening, it's crazy. I'm listening. Uh, why don't we just go on him? Plus 14 heat. So that's going to bring us over the overheating mark. Let's turn off one of the SRMs. Let's turn off the 285 and just go with the 295. Affirmative. We got a laser crit. Pierced through the armor. All right. So he's going to get up. He's going to have a rough go. He doesn't have much. He's got a one gun, I think, and that's it. He's running. I don't know where he thinks he's gonna go. Oh, all right. Trying to take out Kamea. Girl? Talk to me. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna attack this guy. Is there a way to look at my character's stats? Maybe. There we go. Right click. So his piloting is five. I assume the max is ten. To hell with the weapon. RA destroyed, RT destroyed, lost, guarded, unsteady, and messed up. Hey man, how's it going? You're just point blanking me, huh? Rude. Tell me what you need. We can only melee him, huh? Well, we can attack him, I guess. Hmm. How about we go with Mathis instead, and we'll go for a punch on him. Or we'll actually go for an attack on him. Oh, I can only hit him in my firing arc. And I don't know if there's a way to turn around. 
We'll go for an attack. Meleeing is working out nicely for us here. Steady. He's just got to run, dude. He's doing everything he can. Structure exposed. All right. My damned armor's busted. All right, maybe we should be using our guns more. Yes, I hear you. All the lasers. Target confirmed. Hopefully that'll completely finish him off. There he goes. Target eliminated. Good, good, good. Orders. So we're gonna have to move. Why am I backing up? Why did they not turn me around? Oh, it did turn me around. Weird. Turn that off. Just these. Goodbye. Oh, that was a little bit more stressful, difficult than I imagined. Come here. Come here. Can you hear me? Alexander, we were just attacked. The Royal Guard, my own guardsmen, tried to make me a prisoner. It's happening here, too. The Royal Guard are killing one another in the halls. Lord Corosa's house guard just got gunned down in front of me. The Tourney Pavilion is a slaughterhouse. I won't let these seditionists, whoever they are, steal my birthright. We need to rally every loyalist we can find and make a push on the capital. I'll take the throne by force if I must. Go to Tura Township to the armory. Your soldiers are using it as a rallying point. I heard Lord Dissimus send his house guard there a few minutes ago. Someone's here. I have to move. Rally what forces you can find and meet me at the tourney grounds. Be safe. You heard a Mastiff. Rotora Township. We'll go there, rally our fighters, and march on the southern gate with an army at our back. Kabia, I know that you and Lord Madeira are friends, but we can't take what he told you on faith. Right now, we don't know who we can trust. In this case, we do. Alexander has been my closest friend and confidant for as long as I can remember. His loyalty is beyond question. I trust him with my life and yours. Now take me to the armory. As you command, my lady. Traitors in the guard. Here, this is only the beginning. Follow me, keep close, and remember your training. Things are likely to get ugly between here and there. Exiting combat. So now we're all messed up. Um. So I guess we're just gonna follow this down. Roger that. Enemy contact already. Got a new contact on my screen. Oh, over here. How about we just move then? I'll do what you ask. I'll get Mathis up there. Oh, we're, are we back in combat now? And we'll brace. And we'll just kind of get ready to face the enemy. Oh, we gotta go that way. I'm just got dumb. my attention. Moving out. Oh, cool. I like how his his, uh, his legs there hold out. We'll just attack the scorpion. The AC ten. Let's see. Make western heavy automatic cannon. Long range. Okay, cool. That worked out nicely. Just one shot was plenty. Vehicle down. The poor bastards. It's the poor bastards. Here they come. They didn't do anything. Keep moving up. Tell me what you need. Uh, let's have her sprint up a bit. Maybe build some evasion charges. Okay, we got a vehicle. We got all vehicles, it looks like, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hey, how's it going? 
Uh, oh, we got a little lucky on some of those. So that bar right there is armor, the white one. Talk to me. Sure. We're just going to attack. And I'm not going to hit with anything other than the AC-10. Long range cannon. Fire. That's all we need. And we have a 20% chance of missing, which is still kind of high. But not too bad. Let them move to us. Good miss. All right, let's move up. Maybe we can get a sight on the rest of them. And uh, we'll definitely hit with one. Range standard. We don't need all the lasers to fire. Maybe two. Maybe fire two just in case. On the board. Hell yeah. Enemy unit destroyed. I wonder if I should have multi-targeted there. Standing by. I'm moving out. Uh, yeah. There it is. Goodbye. One vehicle. I think how the vehicles go down really nicely and very quickly. All right, we can go back to sprinting. Aye, aye. Sounds good. I'm moving. Everybody up. Oh, no. No, no. We're too late. No such thing, girl. On my way. Off you go. Come here. Come here. Do you read me? It's Espinosa, your uncle. Do you hear me? House Espinosa is usurping the throne. It can't be. My uncle. Victoria. Come here. I just watched an Espinosa and battle mech plow through an alley full of civilians. This is happening. And it's happening now. Your loyalists have fallen back to the market district. That's where they're making their stand. What's well, so the little royal guard are doing their best? But there's something wrong with their battle mechs. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, gods! Whoa! Oh, they're raining hell! They're just raining shit down upon us. Great! Alright then, well. It's over, Kamiya. Your ascendancy, the Irano legacy, all of it. Victoria, what have you done? You know, Kamea, for years I loved you like a sister, and then my father helped me see it, your family's complacency, what it's done to the Reach. Our nation dwindles like a dying star, and House Arano is to blame. My father offered you a path to glory. I'd have fought under your banner proudly, served as your strong right hand. It was like a knife in my heart when you turned him away. Damn it, Victoria, I taught you better than this. You taught me lies. Kamea, for the love that I once bore you, I'm going to give you a chance to surrender. I'll even spare the old man and his mech warrior if you stand down now. I don't want to hurt you, but you cannot be allowed to rule. I'll see you hanged for this, Victoria. You and your father both. Do you hear me? You are traitors to the region. I will fight you to the last. Then you truly are a fool. I'll spare you in spite of yourself, but you've cost your royal escort their lives. Are we going to get bombed down? Oh, are we just going to get mechs now? Yeah, we're going to get three mechs. All right, we gotta move into some, maybe some of this. Let's get him into some cover. Then let's see. A locust, which just has a laser, and I assume is just really fast. Laser, 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 laser. So we're aiming. Sure, 80, 90, 70. Why don't we go for this guy and just unload everything on him? And we can hopefully, you know, and the side is just messed up. Does 
little locust is gonna be a pain in the butt, I think. Eh, we took a tiny bit of damage. But they don't they're not really loaded with weapons, luckily, so. Ooh, nice miss. Alright. So we'll move Mathis into cover. In our blackjack. We're just running over buildings, apparently. And we'll just drop an attack on this guy. Or this guy. Yeah, we'll go with this guy. All Everything. Oh, we knocked him down. We must have messed up his leg or something. I think this is our knockdown bar. If this reaches max, he gets knocked down. I think. You have my attention. I'll make it happen. We could multi-target, which is probably the better idea. Can only multi-target with the laser, it seems. That guy's a little running down, a little low. I, I wish I could like aim for specific parts, but I don't think I can. So he's on the ground, we might want to wipe him out. Or why don't we just go blammo on this guy? Discharging weapon. Yeah, we just we just incapacitated the pilot in one fell swoop. He just went down like a, a ton of bricks. So up he goes. His leg's not looking too hot though. Where's he going? He's not going fast. He's just hiding. Talk to me. So, do we have jump jets on this guy? Sensor lock. Select a target within sensor range to reveal it until the end of the current round and remove two of its evasive charges. So, if something's moving fast and trying to hide, I guess that's what we want to do. Sure, let's move up. Affirmative. No LRMs on that. Or we could just do this and maybe wipe him out with everything. But we haven't even hit this guy yet. Let's just go with a full-on blast here. Yep, down he goes. Battle mech down. Hey, Locust. Welcome. You're just gonna run through the building. Hey, I mean, a top shot on me is not a bad idea. All right. I could just punch him. Hey, or kick him rather, or headbutt him. Oh, we knocked him down. Good. Loud and clear. Let's go for it. I'm Just surround him and stomp on him. Yes. Range. Uh. <laughs> That'll do it. Come here, do you read me? Alexander, thank the gods. I thought I'd lost you when the bombs fell. You very nearly did. Come here, the city is lost. We have to get off this planet. We need to do it now. I can't abandon Kor, my dear. This is my home, my birthright. The battle's over, Kamiya. Lord Madeira has the right of it. It's time for you to run. Escape from this madness and live to restore the coalition another day. You're you're both right. My uncle has won. The reach is his. We'll mourn for it later, the both of us. For now, you need to move. I have a dropship waiting at Shepard's Pass. I'm on my way there right now. Hurry and meet us there, please. We're we're on our way. You get to that ship, Alexander. I mean it. We will not lose you and my throne on the same day. Destroy the espionage vehicles, proceed to the evac zone. All friendly units must survive. All right, let's do it. It's not too far. 
got my attention. I don't see. Well, I do see actually an enemy. What if we just sprint it? Roger. Up here. Burn. Build some ev uh, evasive charges. Maybe could have put him in a in the tree line. Maybe it would have been a little smarter. Okay. I'm listening. I'm glad. Location Let's see if I can get uh, a sensor lock on him, maybe. Can she sensor lock? She has like a bunch of abilities. No. We'll just brace. get up here. Go, 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 boy. Come on. That that tank just drove through a building, man. We're gonna sensor lock him for now. I just wanna get a sight on him so I can hit him. Oh, and there's the other one. Oop, all right. Hopefully we'll be able to pop both of them now that we have a sensor lock on one of them. Yes, I hear you. Let's go up and around. We have incoming hostiles. Yeah, of course we do. Uh, we don't need all of these. Here, we'll go both lasers on you. Confirmed. Beautiful. Those green lasers, man, they tickle me Black in nice places. Vehicle. We'll move up. I missed with one of the lasers. God dang it. <laughs> I actually missed. Talk to me. Alright, move up. Roger. Say goodbye. Well, why is oh, okay, there we go. I was like, why is this tank so strong? You were brave, I'll give you that much. But we're good. This is your last chance, cousin. Don't make me order your death. Do whatever you must, betrayer. Headstrong fool to the end. Damn you for this. Captain Host, destroy them. Mastiff, my cousin, all of them. Leave no survivors. You command, my lady. Oh, there he is. Okay, I'm just being attacked magically from a man who wasn't there before, but now is. So you know that's nice. I appreciate that. Tell me what you need. So he'll be within medium range. Oh, we've got a bunch of stuff. Okay, okay. We'll move up. I'm gonna unload everything on him, however. And it's best for us. Just go. Affirmative. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Good miss. I don't like being like kind of open in the open like this is my blackjack. Oh, good couple misses. We're eating up our evasion charges though from the sprint. We only have a little bit of long range access to everything from here, so we'll see what we can hit him with, if anything at all. Sure, we'll we'll try to hit him with these two. Aye, aye. Maybe we'll knock him over. 
side torso destroyed, pilot injured, and we knocked off his right arm. His arm went flying. Yeah, all right, you're gonna be in a little bit of trouble now, huh? Oh, you shot at me, but I didn't see what you did. Let's get us in the forest here. Listen, I know what it's like to lose everything, man. My family, they were dumb with all their money, mostly. Uh, we can only go for the two. Yeah, you know what? Everything. Kill it. There we go. We gotta destroy him anyway, so. You have my attention. You know what? Everything. That's gonna overheat us. Um Get rid of the two sixty percenters. Hit him with as much as you can. Huh? Oh. Just let him. They're not doing much with the lasers. They're pecking away at us, but that's about it. I just don't know what those the two different bars mean. You've got my attention. We can only hit him with the LRM, so I think we're gonna move. But I want the mech down before the turret. The turret doesn't bother me at all. But if we can knock him off his ass, I'll be happy. We can still only hit him with the LRM. But we can actually hit this with two things, so fuck it. Roger. It lived, weirdly. Oh, he's jump jetting. That's gonna put him in a lot, it's gonna give him a lot of heat. Barely dinged my arm. So I think <laughs> this is armor. This is like health. <coughs> this is heat and this is stability. I think if we can fill this up, he'll fall over if I remember correctly. I'm listening. I'll do what you ask. Right arm destroyed. Jump jets destroyed. Strength, He's stuck up there as far as I think now. Let's kill him. All the lasers. Down you go, buddy. Oh, I wanted to see him kind of fall off. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Come on. Minimal. Good. Talk to me. Let's get Good you part. up. Firing. Goodbye. Target destroyed. Easy enough. By. I'm on the move. Sprint. Fall in behind me. Aye, aye. Sounds good. I'm moving. Everybody into the evac zone. Thank the gods you made it, Kamea. Captain Halverson's prepping the engines now. In another five minutes, we'll be ready to depart. Five minutes is a long time. Mathis, you see Lady Arano to the docking ramp. When she's aboard, you come back to me. We'll hold this pass against whatever comes. Thank All right. You, Mr. Thank you both. I won't forget what you've done for me today. I promise you that. Off you go. On your own. Look at that. I didn't even have to go anywhere, man. I did it. All on my own. All units advance. I'm waiting to take down the dropship. Destroy everyone and everything that stands in your way. All right, Mathis, I trained you for this. We'll fight side by side. Watch each other's backs. Above all else, we will keep Lady Arano safe. Protect the dropship. It's all that matters. Warning, engine heat critical. Warning, error, shutdown initiated. Error, reactor offline. Weapons offline. Systems inoperable. Oh, good. 
Trouble with your blackjack, Mathis. Shame. That's been happening to a lot of the Royal Guard back in battle mechs lately. Oh, because they repaired my mech, they freaking sabotaged it. You have numbers on us, and you've resorted to sabotage, and you're gloating about it. You've got no armor, you vicious little brat. Not you, nor your backstabbing father. Shut your mouth, old man. My father is a great man, and I swear to all the gods, you will suffer if you insult him again. Your father is a coward, and so are you. Mathis, I want you to eject. Now. Punch out. You're no good to anybody in a broken mech, and I want you to, uh, and I won't let you die today. Eject, mech warrior. Now. That is an order. Alright. There I go. Whee! Ejection! Now come for me, Victoria. Your teacher is waiting. Come and show me what you've learned. So he's just gonna die then, huh? Mission successful. So he's just gonna die? He just sacrifices himself? Never to be seen again? I'm gonna have to do a tiny bit of research, I think, just to grasp some of the more... detailed aspects of, of combat. Things, I'm mostly planning on teaching me some more stuff, but I do feel like I, I'm missing out on a few things right now. Eight hours later, high orbit, Chroma Deer. He's there, Mike. He took a nasty crack on the head when you punched out. Don't worry, you're safe now. My name's Darius Oliveira, and I'm the XO of Markham's Marauders. We're a mercenary outfit with ties to House Arano. We did some work for High Lord Tam uh, Tamati way back when. I'd introduce you to Commander Markham, but he was on a supply run in the Market District when the bombs fell. Yeah, well, he didn't make it. Oh, uh, you rescued me, why? Seemed appropriate, given the circumstances. After seeing what happened to Markham, it didn't feel right leaving you in the hands of this new directorate. And when we picked up your broadcast in the emergency band, we knew what we had to do. Uh, what about Mastiff, Sir Raju Montgomery? Did you find them? We found his mech. It was completely cored out. Nobody survives a hit like that. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. We supported the Royal Guard in a handful of deployments. Sir Raju earned my respect many times over. His death is a loss for us all. Were you able to recover my blackjack? Yeah, our mech tech hauled what's left of it to the mech bay. It isn't pretty, and if you give it him enough time, Yang can fix just about anything. I try not to take the loss too hard, though. Yang said that your mech shows signs of a deliberate sabotage. Whoever you had working on it really did a number on the reactor. Punching out was the right move. Alright, so what happens now? Well, things aren't looking so hot around here, and with the coup and all, Espanisa's directorate is the new de facto government in the, Origin, in the Oregon Reach. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Lady Arano is dead. Her dropship was destroyed on takeoff. It's all over the news. Then Mastiff died for nothing. He died doing his duty. From what I remember of the old man, that's exactly how he wanted to go. Speaking of going, we're getting the hell out of the uh, Oregon Territory. We're heading to a nice, quiet stretch of independent space all the way across the frontier on the Canopian border. Okay. Now, according to the info on your blood shit, your roots are right here, in the Rimward periphery. That puts you and me in the same boat. Our homes are too close to the Directorate for comfort. So the way I see it, you've got a couple of options. You could stay with us for the long haul if you wanted. That's option A. 
When we get where we're going, we can drop you at the nearest planet. Maybe you can make a place for yourself there. Of course, I'll need you to pitch in for your share of the fuel, plus food, lodging, and the repairs on your mech. Fair is fair, after all. Alternatively, you could find a place for yourself in the Marauders if you wanted to. Wouldn't take you long to work off your debt, and you ran with Mastiff, so I know you've got chops. Think it over. Sleep on it. You've had a hell of a day, and we've got a long road ahead. Three years later. ur Ruin Rimward Frontier. Three years! That's a hell of a jump, man. God dang. Alright, well, let's see what this is all about. The Independent Prospector's League thanks you for your assistance, Commander. We're miners, not soldiers. We can't fight these bastards off on our own. That's what you're paying us for. Don't worry, we'll get your platforms back. This isn't just about reclaiming what's ours. Majesty Metals killed hundreds of us when they tried to jump our claim. We wanted to make them bleed for what they've done here. Commander, the Op 4 is holding two of the IPL's mining platforms. The first designated Alpha is where they're keeping their turret generator. Moving fast, take it out. Those turrets hit hard, so you'll want to neutralize them ASAP. Platform Bravo is the site for the Op 4's op co corporate security tower. Engage and destroy it. If they bring in a mech to protect it, take that out too. Then circle on back and we'll collect our pay. That's right, I'm ready and waiting to authorize the transfer. Now go on, Commander. Hit these corporate pigs where it hurts. We'll be watching for the action from here. And that is where we're going to stop this one. Uh, ooh, there's a little morale thing there. But we're going to stop the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments, hitting the like, all that good stuff. It's very important on a new series. But I'll definitely promise you there will at least be an episode two. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.